Good day, friends. Here we are, Protestant Easter. He's risen. He's risen indeed. Depending on what calendar you would use, though. I uh, had terrible nightmares all night about about churches that I was standing outside looking in the door and there were women who were nude had their arms splayed out like they were on the cross and they were levitating off the floor and they were demon possessed and not even not even aware of what was going on and there were multiple it was happening all over the place um, you know I you know, perhaps it's a dream about the amount of uh, demonic influence that actually is going on in the modern church. The church is a prelest. The church is that, you know, as we talk about in orthodoxy, that we don't pray against anybody, but we pray for peace in their lands and in their places and safety for them. But we do pray against heresy and things that have already been proven wrong and have been stated and had councils and just basically the, the writings on the wall that things are not as they should be. We pray against that and anathematize anything that is against that, that counseling. As I was saying, so if it's Protestant Easter, tell me what happened to Passover, guys. What happened to the connection of being freed from uh, Egypt and the blood of the lamb being painted over the doorpost of your heart so that the angel of death will pass over. Hmm. Why did we just uh, pull the trigger on this weekend without that part of the celebration being in effect? Ask yourself that. 